So, part two uh, of this whole endeavor, we have just completed uh, the High Isle, I think, tutorial, and the Cold Harbor, the original tutorial of the game. But, I have once again uh, kind of f***ed the thing up. So, this is the character that we were supposed to be following. He's now level 20, and I have already completed Stonefell's and we came to the conclusion that basically the way that we're trying to introduce the story just doesn't work for the way that this game is built. Uh, I will explain this because uh, in, in a minute, but we are going to continue where we left off with the Argonian on Bleak Rock Isle, which is our next step. I do have to point out that if you were trying to experience the story of Elder Scrolls Online in chronological order with uh, the way it was meant to be, you're going to be doing it solo. Because if another player is doing something, that will interrupt and interact and cut off part of your quest, and you cannot go back to redo it. If they skip dialogue or choose a different option than you, they desync from your quest and are left standing there doing nothing while you're doing something else. So, ESO is a online multiplayer game not meant for you to play co-op with at least the original story or most of the story. Also, I get that a lot of the players, including a lot of you who are watching, tend to not really care for the story and space bar through it when you're playing it so that you can watch it on YouTube. So my goal is to make it at least something watchable and something for you to enjoy the story along with me for the first time. So having me and the boys shooting the shit in the background kind of defeats that purpose. So we'll be seeing Donut and his friend Will when we do dungeons or when we do special content that requires multiple people. But for the most part, it's just going to be me, Husky, taking you guys along this journey through the dream gate so let's go ahead and get started with bleak rock isle with my argonian warden archer stars and night we must speak as i feared we arrived in different locations i am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle it matters not you have awakened once again and we must set you on your path how long was I unconscious? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. Can you tell. at least look at me? The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. Right. What should I do now? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Murlog Ball. All right. Will I see you again? I cannot foresee that. Not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Murlog Ball looms across all Tamriel and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Okay, so where should I go? You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. Right. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. All right. Uh, you think there are many people who need my help? Indeed. I sense that even now, there are good people near you who face grave danger. They need your assistance, should you be willing to give it. To thwart the will of Molag Bal, we must skirmish with evil wherever it rears its head. Interesting. And the others who would join me in this? We do not face these troubled times alone. Many shall rise up to fight this tide of darkness. Wherever you go, you will encounter others who share your courage and valor. Help them if you can, and enlist their aid if you have need of it. Yeah, so that's 
actually a real point that for you guys wanting to follow along with the story, that's real. There are other characters that you meet in the story that do develop and lose uh, loved ones or even characters you like to die off. We were noticing that when we made it all the way to Stonefells, that certain characters that we rescued here on Bleak Rock Isle ended up dying uh, kind of off screen, which sucks that they did that, but I kind of get it for an MMO. But we will be trying to track their movements, at least the people that we do for the Ebonheart Pact, all the way through. So once we complete the Ebonheart Pact, instead of continuing on with the uh, rest of the game, because we will be doing the dungeons as they come, we're going to be moving to the Daggerfall Covenant, and then finally the Aldmeri Dominion. We're going to do all three of the pack stories, or uh, alliance stories, and then we're going to move on to the rest of the game, because I want to go through all of it. That is the goal with the Roll to 100, which anyone who is on our Discord, which our Discord link is in the Communities tab on our YouTube channel, hop into the Discord and hang out and share some info and take a look at some of the guides that we're using. All right, so let's see. Grandmaster sees all colors. So we got an Argonian. Grandmaster, your invitation is kind and the promise of coin is appealing. The village could use it. Still, I must refuse your offer of membership in the Fighters Guild. Bleak Rock is where I was born. Sure willing, it's where I will die. My bow and my blade belong to this tiny island. Kind speed you on your mission against the Daedra. Darja of Bleak Rock. Darj of Bleak Rock. So I know who Darj is. And Seize All Colors is a Fighters Guild person. I think we meet somewhere like over here. But yeah, we're all we're gonna meet all these people. So that was the first time I read that, so I was like, oh. So I am glad that I'm going back through this a second time, because there is so much I missed. If you're going through with other players, I know you're playing with your friends and you wanna blow through it, or some of your friends might have even played it before. They, when I was showing it to uh, the other boys who have played this before me, there was things that I was picking up on that they never noticed. Uh, so, I think it would just be better if I was to record all of this so everyone can see it and we don't have to slow down anyone's gameplay. Mathor's Journal. Saw a strange light over the water last night. I've seen auroras do some strange things, but never anything quite like this. Corpses watch, washed up on shore. They were dressed strangely as if they were from far-off lands. I have no idea where they came from. Tilrani, Tilrani? Said something... Said to send them to Sovereign Guard with honors. So we did. Polsgar found someone on the shore shivering in the cold, but not wet. Just damp where they were lying in the snow. Would have died without care. He, Oh, well, yeah. Would have died without care. I didn't see that. I thought that was a comma. He dragged the body back to town and stuck it in the spare beds. Hopefully the poor soul will survive the night. So that's about us. Who's Malthor? Are you Malthor? Oh, no. You're Captain Reyna. I'm short on good help, and I could use someone capable. Someone like you. Uh, I just fucking woke up. Also, I'm an Argonian, so... Um... I wonder if that racial stuff is really strong here, because Dark Elves enslave beast races on the island of Vardenfell, which is literally just across the water from this island. So we have no clue how racially charged this game is going to be. But consider Argonians and Khajiits slaves to the Dark Elves. A fisherman found you washed up on the beach. He brought you back to town. It's a miracle you survived. Okay. Okay. You're the one Holzgar pulled out of the water. Okay. I'm glad you're up. I could use your help. I have to find Holzgar and thank him. Uh, you wanted to speak with me? You've seen combat, and I need all the help I can get today. Villagers are scattered across the island. We need to warn them. Why? We sighted a ship offshore. I've sent my troops to investigate. If it's the vanguard of an invasion, well, we'll need to evacuate. So why don't you uh, send word to the mainland? You, I know you guys have watchtowers that give off smoke signals. You'll find the people of Bleak Rock all across the island. Darj, the hunter, went to Sky Shroud Barrow. 
Iman's out at Orkis Hollow with his sister Rolanda. Sane, my sergeant, is out at Hosen's Folly. What's Sky Shroud Barrow? It's an old dragon shrine. It's a relic of the Dragon Wars. Some of the villagers claim they saw undead out there. I sent Darge out to get proof. Okay, tell me about Orkis Hollow. Locals claim it's haunted. They dare each other to spend a night inside. It's a silly custom, but a harmless one. Uh, Hazen's Folly. It's an abandoned mine. A family came out from Stone Falls to work the place. Rumor has it, they're Daedra worshippers. Now some bandits are hunting through the place, and we need to know why. Alright, so I think we'll start at Sky Shroud Burrow. It's an old dragon shrine. It's a relic of the dragon... Thank you, friend. After you find Darge, keep looking. The more people you can send back here, the better off we'll be. I'll answer what I can. Captain Tilroni's got the villagers thinking I'm an adult netch, but I'm actually a bit smarter than that. And, well, okay. How did you end up here? The Dark you Elf on a Nord Island. Mean? I made a hasty decision. A bad call. Soldiers died. I learned my lesson. Now I don't act without proof. Okay, uh, does Trelawney hate you? I took her job. You might have heard her yelling about that in the square. I haven't. It's petty, but what can I do? Every time I've reached out to her, she slapped my hand. Well, okay, uh, about the races of the pact? I'm not a scholar, but I'll tell you what I know. Alright, so let's top to bottom. Let's start with the Nords. I like Nords. Most Nords I've met are strong of arm and heart. I call them the proud spine of the pact. I'm also more comfortable behind their swords than in front of them. I'm not a scholar, but okay. I'll tell you what so I So what know. about you guys, the Dark Elves? Other than our beauty, brains, and rapier wit, <laughs> we proudly work to enact the will of the Tribunal, our living gods. If the Nords are the heart of the pact, and the Argonians are the soul, the Dark Elves are the brains. Ah, uh, that is very odd for you to say the Argonians are the soul, but I get it. Um, the Tribunal, also, I get it. Uh, we will be doing the Morrowind expansion, uh, probably right after we do the stories, uh, the base game stories, but there is also the game called Morrowind, the one of the first of the Todd Howard Bethesda Elder Scrolls games that goes deep into that lore, and I really recommend that as a game even if you have to adjust it with mods or even if you got to play it in like god mode in order to be able to beat the game i i just think it's worth the playthrough the story alone is really really good i'm not a scholar but what i'll about tell the you what i know you're asking me about argonians that's cute i know you like your mud and you rarely get upset most argonians i've met mostly keep to themselves also we once held you as slaves. So, there's that. Sorry. Once? A thousand years from now, you're still using them as slaves. Once? Although it was funny that she acknowledged that I was a uh, Argonian. In games, I think, like, Dragon Age, they don't really uh, acknowledge the fact that uh, you are asking about your own race. More stuff. Letter from Trelawney. Rana, I am tired of the excuse. Yesterday's training's exercise was shameful. When I was in charge, we never had these problems. I think Roland, Rolanda would make a better soldier than some of these milk drinkers. Get them together. The pact depends on us. Trelawney Snowbjorn. Or Born, sorry. It's spelled with a Jason Born style. Okay. Letter to Rana. Captain Rana, in light of your actions, I have no choice but to strip you of your command and rank. Your time at Pelagiad Garrison is over. Pelagiad? Okay, so she was on Vardenfell. Uh, tomorrow you will appear before a court martial. They will decide your ultimate fate. Many. May the three have mercy on you. Okay. So the three is the tribunal. Amalexia, Sothisil, and Vivek. Rena's log. I've been exiled. I'm commanding the garrison of stinking Nords. She thought she said she liked them. And you, well, this could be the beginning. And you can't find this place on a map. 
If Senna hadn't come with me, I'd be the only Dark Elf on this island. She gave up so much to be here. I can never repay her loyalty. I'm determined not to let this bleak rock break me. Second Era, 581, Rena's Handlog complete. So, 581. I want to steal. Uh, I do want to go over some settings real quick. Some settings that help me change how this game works. Uh, when you are setting your stuff up, your quick cast ground abilities, your AoEs, put them to on, not automatic, so that when you press the button, it just goes, so you don't have to sit there and double tap the button a bunch of times and aim it. It just goes off. Uh, auto loot on, and prevent stealing items on. And then, there should be one that says prevent attack, yeah, prevent attacking innocence. Also turn that on. Because if, I mean, if you're just going to go through the story, you don't want to end up bashing everyone when you're just, you know, out here doing some dumb shit like this. Alright, so, what do we got going on? We got a lot to do, and so that's the barrow. We're going to... Go a big counterclockwise circle around this map. We you start trouble, evacuate. Rana has no idea what she's doing. Did I ever risk your lives like this? Trelawney, there Welcome she is. To trouble. Our little Captain Rana doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, well, what is this place? Bleak Rock Island. I was in command for years until Captain Rana took over. Now we sit on our hands while she dithers and frets. Did you see battle? I repelled an Old Mary Dominion scouting party once, and we've had bandits and raiders aplenty. I handled every emergency, but Captain Rana won't listen to a word I say. What's your disagreement about? Lighting the watchtower. When we spot a ship, we're supposed to send a signal. We spotted one, but Rana's delaying. She wants proof it's not a merchant, so she sent our only boat after the ship. It's loaded with the garrison's troops. Foolish girl. Are we in danger? We spotted a ship offshore. I think it's the Daggerfall Covenant. They claimed lands to the northwest across the High Rock and Hammerfell. It might be a scout, but I still think we're in for a fight. All right, so to change the subject, because that's just how this is going to work, Breakneck, where'd you find me? Hulsgar the Miller found you along the shore. He was certain you were going to die, but he dragged you back to town just the same. What can you tell me about this island? Again, not asking where this guy lives. Or, well, you said the Miller, but... Bleak Rock Island. Yeah, still. I was in command for years until Captain yeah, Arana took... Pack? You did take a hit to the head. Ten years back, when the Akaviri invaded from across the Eastern Sea, the Nords, Dark Elves, and Argonians united to throw them back. Now, we're the Ebonheart Pact. Are we still fighting the Akaviri? Which, that's a dumb question. Of course not. Huh. Once we smashed those snakes, they didn't come back. Nowadays, we got other problems. The Daggerfall Covenant and the Aldmeri Dominion. All right, so uh, guess let's just head on out. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that guy's got a little Drake. Interesting. All right. It's like I think this is Darge. Oh no, it's Hawknear. Okay, Hawknear. Curse that death claw! Ate my foot. I had to use my boot and some leather as a tourniquet. Damn it! What happened? I've been tracking the beast for weeks. I call him Deathclaw. Yeah. I finally caught up to him, but it... Well, it went badly. If I can find him, I'll get him for you. Now there's a plan. If you bag him, I'll toss you some coin for your trouble. As I made my escape, some stuff fell out of my pack. You should be able to follow what I dropped, like a trail back to his lair. I'll get him. Follow the trail I left when I made my escape. You'll know his lair by the bones, blood, and smell. Tempt him with some game, and I bet you'll get his attention. Alright, uh, so why have you been tracking him? I've been hunting beasts in the wild of Skyrim all my life. 
Deathclaw ravaged a couple of herds near Kynesgrove. I took on a contract to end him. I always fulfill my contracts. Okay, so Kynesgrove is really far away. Kynesgrove... Oh, it's not that far. Kynesgrove is about, like, right here. Yeah, it's about, like, right here, so it's not that far. But that's still, like, in terms of miles, a bit more than just a creature migrating or fleeing, so that's a bit excessive. Unless I have my placement of Kynesgrove. I'm going off of Skyrim's placement, but... They might have placed it somewhere differently in this game. You in I don't see a lot of players use bows, and I wonder if it's just... Well, I wonder if it's not an effective weapon for DPS or anything, but I don't know. Uh, I was just wanting to try it out because it's a, definitely a weapon I haven't used. And some rune stones. So I did subscribe in the interim time between the last video and this video. It's probably been about a two weeks of time between those last two videos for you guys. Hopefully it's only about a week if I get it done properly. But, um, it depends on how Ed's doing. But, uh, yeah, I had to subscribe so that I can get the loot bag. Because, oh my god, does this game give you so many resources and you need to have them if you're going to attempt anything. And if you don't have ESO+, Plus, you don't get the bag, and you only have your pitiful little 60 things that, you know, fill up very, very quickly. And then, um, on top of that, I cannot access any story element, because I played this game back when it came out. I couldn't access any story element beyond Morrowind. At all. Most dungeons, most anything. So here, DLC, you would have to pay for each and every individual downloadable content from the past by thousands and thousands and thousands of coins in order for you to purchase it. But don't worry, the Imperial City and Morrowind are both free because that's the base game stuff, I guess, now. That's the new base game. I remember when this came out, and I only played for a little bit, but... Yeah, so I got the class of the, uh... Warden, which is what this guy is. Which comes with the Morrowind Pact. And then Imperial City gave you more for PvP, and a lot more new dungeons involving Molag, uh... Molag Ball. But the rest is truly expansions that add new areas, and new dungeons, new loots, and new stuff that if you don't have ESO... You would have to pay for every single one of these. And look, look look at them. Look at how many you would have to pay individually to get it. And getting this, getting the new chapter, doesn't come with it. It only gives you the new zones, this stuff if you go for the deluxe. So even then, you would still have to come back, get ESO Plus, or purchase all of this, even if you get the newest DLC. If you haven't been keeping up with your game, ESO Plus is the only way to do it. And ESO Plus, depending upon your region, in mine, it's $14.99 a month. Let's try to kill this fucking Deathclaw. Come on, bud. I don't know who you are, but we're gonna kill this fucker together. Back in here. There we go. Let's see, Curious. Oh, 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 fucking hell, man. Scared the shit out of me. Uh. Oh, he's got a little skink. And again, I think I pointed it out when I was talking to the boys, but uh, you see these things on my uh, hip here? These, the, the, these things? Yeah, they're, they're not supposed to be on your hip, Bethesda. They're supposed to be on the front of your thigh. They don't go to the side. They go right here, where this line is. Because 
that's not going to protect someone stabbing you because you fight someone face to face with swords. That's just how that works. It's just a fantasy thing we've been doing for years, but it is a mistake. Right, cooking fire, bottle, bottle, empty. Ooh, I'm going to put your uh, food pot. Baskets, crates. Oop, 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 oop. A hunter with the heart of Iskramor. Here's the coin I promised. Yep. I'll sing your praises next time I see the inside of a mead hall. Don't worry about me. I know the way back to town. Wound or no wound. Gotcha. All right. Leading quest. All right. So now we got to go find Darj. It's just unattended. Oh, vision. Dark veil is stretched thin, allowing the visions to flow like snow melting on the first day of spring. To see a web, entangling all that it touches and bringing trouble to the green and pleasant island. I see the other island, the one that went away, threatened by a force long thought vanquished. I see three dark princes joined in a conspiracy of vile and evil intentions. Intentions. And in the middle of it all, ready to sway events, but in which direction I cannot fathom, stands stars and night. Oh, me. My visions stir up interest from the darkest corners. I must hide before they catch me. So, someone was uh, dreaming about me. It's good to know I'm thought about. It's always good to be acknowledged. Alright, so it looks like we made it to the temple here. I don't see Darj. Oh, there he is. Can you use that weapon, friend? Yeah. I need your help. Uh, tell me what's going on. Uh, there's a necromancer here, but I can't find him. He must be in the catacombs beneath the shrine. That's the only place that makes sense. Okay. Something has to be done about these undead. How can I help? The dead walk at Sky Shroud. There's an evil power radiating from within the shrine, but the door is locked. In the Skald's tales, every dragon shrine had a priest. If we could speak with Sky Shroud's priest, he could tell us how to get in. Right. Um, speak the spirit. If Shore is willing, yes. I brought a bag of incense to burn as an offering. The bone men caught me before I could try the ritual. You might have better luck. What do you say? All right, uh, give me the bag. You are a pathetic hunter. I hope you have better luck at the shrine than I did. Watch yourself in there. Got it. What can you tell me about this barrow? The barrow has been here for as long as anyone can remember. Legends say a cult of dragon worshippers built it, as well as the shrines like it on the mainland. Okay. Uh... No one has ever tried to get in? Some folks have, mostly youngsters. Until recently, this place was haunted by dust and the occasional frostbite spider. Now, skeletons rise from their graves. Something has changed. Yeah, that necromancer you mentioned. All right, ooh, torch bugs. I use these guys to fish later, which there are fishing achievements. All right, uh, let's see if I can get a stealth kill on this guy. Looks like stealth didn't seem to do too much when it came to sneak attacks. Maybe that's something I got to invest in, or maybe that's a uh, Nightblade ability only. Don't know. Is that a cliff racer? I just had a thought. Am I summoning a cliff racer? Uh, command cliff racer. Yeah, no. I, I'm now upset that I summoned one of the most annoying fucking enemies ever in Elder Scrolls. At least there's it's not attacking me. Okay. 
Hey, look, someone with a bow. I don't know. I feel like I'm uh, was over exaggerating that. God damn. So many archers. I think it's because there's just a little lack of players here in this area at this time. Because I am playing it at a uh, awkward time on a Thursday morning. So, not many people would be here. It is June, so I, I guess uh, some people should be taking the morning off. But, I don't know. Maggot. You dare summon me? You dare call me a maggot, you asshole? I, I need your help, spirit. Can you comprehend the power I once had? It's not what I asked. Why should I help you with anything? Okay, thank you. Uh, because your shrine is being desecrated. Yes, I can sense them. Some worm defiled this place. You are now my will incarnate, mortal. Enter the barrow and kill this worm. Got it. You need to ask? Bath. Once everyone knew the ritual. Three rune stones unlock the door. They're placed in prominent positions around the shrine. Find them and put them on their pedestals around the door. Then you'll gain entrance. Now go. All right. Uh, oh, hello. Is that just a thing that people have? Because I see a lot of those bears with people who play them. Barrel Guardian. It's just an old rouse a grizzly to fight at your side. Da -da -da -da. That's not going to be too far. Once summoned, you can activate Guardian's Wrath or 75 ultimate, causing the grizzly button. Yeah, okay, so you just you just got to that point quicker than me. Okay. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so I need to go up a stage, but also there is something over here. What is it? Oh, it's the eagle. I was supposed to be a boss guarding this. Maybe the player already killed him and his body already despawned. So, the eagle, the whale, and the snake. Okay, so... I'm gonna do as little resource collection as possible while I'm recording because I have a character that I do nothing but. So... Uh, yeah. My main character is still the uh, Dark Elf Sorcerer, so... Hopefully I can sync up the story back with him so that I can continue, but we got a while to go. Um, we're a good ways into the Stonefell's story with the uh, Dark Elf, so I might be... Uh... Oh, I want that chest. I uh, might be a little late for doing that. It might take quite some time before we can get back to him. But we got plenty of other characters that are getting there along the way. Yeah, so. Still have Belfoyan after this, and then uh, most of Stonefells before we get to the Dark Elf. Or at least that Dark Elf, because I got another one that's a Dragon Knight, so that'll be cool. So I get to show you guys all the different types of uh, classes before we uh, lock in on one. There we go. And normally there really is a boss that defends all these. I wonder if... Oh, there he is. He's dead. Thank God. I was starting to think I was going crazy that every time I played, I just got, like, a bad spawn or something. Or maybe having a group increases or changes difficulty of certain quests. But, yeah, well, okay. They're, he, they're just dead before I get there. Makes this a lot easier. First little uh, sky shard here. Oop. Okay, so I've got to place them on the little thing here. Sunake. A hall. And an Ejeel. Bears giving me the eye. Sky Shroud Burrow. Uh, search. Lockpick. Alright. Hey, buddy. I stand once more at the seat of my power. I am a specter, 
A mere shade, forced to watch as a necromancer defiles my body. Kill him. Gotcha. Looting first. Got it. You'll never defeat the Covenant. Whatever. I'm not here to defeat the whole Covenant. I'm here to just defeat you, man. Destroy! There we go. These breaches... That fight has never gone that smoothly, because, again, other players tend to kill the guy before I can get there. So you have fulfilled that's... your purpose. Well done, Hello. Worm. Well, that's it. Ooh, urn. Cash. Some more urns over here. I do recommend you guys loot, because unlike other, uh, right there, unlike other Elder Scrolls games, the typical loot that you find is actually kind of nice in ESO. I say that and I get ash. Yep, I say that and I get ash. See, now, now I've heard its feelings, or I've made it aware of itself. But the fact is, is that I've been getting a lot of really good loot just from random uh, crates and stuff than getting it from chests. Yeah, fishy sticks. Now I got a fish stick recipe. How effective is that? I don't fucking know, but can you make fish sticks? I can't. Uh, I probably can in real life, but the you know what I mean. What did you do? Uh, I just found evidence and did the thing. The Covenant here? Trolls blood, I have to warn the village. I'll head back. See if you can find any of the other villagers on the island. I you think we have to evacuate soon. I think we already know that it's the Covenant, because I thought that was already established, but okay, complete quest. I wouldn't have thought those milk drinkers would leave their cozy taverns to come down here. I'll have to get this wound seen to, then. I'm going to need my sword arm. Gotcha. What now, Darsh? If that necromancer was working for the Covenant, we're all in danger. I'll head back to the village to prepare our defenses. You will need to search the island for villagers and send them back to Bleak Rock Village. Good luck! Find as many as I can. Cool. Level 7. One attribute, one skill, three soul gems, and a uh, XP boost. Cool. More magic. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I... I can understand you. Oh my, I'm not a skeever. No, no. Follow me. I'll show you. Alright. And I'll let you guys know that the way that I'm playing this is very slow, because I'm trying to be meticulous with all the story pieces and hitting all the spots. You can get through Bleak Rock Isle in probably, on average, about 45 minutes. 35 to 45 minutes if you just really skip through a lot of stuff and know what you're doing but uh if you're trying to experience the story which again i find it a little annoying that you the best way to experience this game is solo when it comes to story um you're gonna take quite a bit of time so just kind of lock in and expect that you're not gonna level up very fast when it comes to a lot of the story beats of the game but obviously you can get out of Bleak Rock in the tutorial and be like level 10 by the time you hit your first little main city area. Which means you can also go straight to PvP. Oh, thank kind! You have it! My friends and I were out hunting in the woods when a mad mage ran up and began throwing spells at us. I think he only nicked me. He dropped that wand in the snow as he left. What does the wand do? Uh, I don't know how spells work. I tried picking up the wand, but it wouldn't let me. I think it does the spell. Or undoes it. Look, my friends are Falter, Brend, and Runzenwild. They're skeevers now. Please find them and use the wand to fix them. Okay, I'll go look for them. Looks like uh, we got a little runestone here. I'm going to grab runestones because I like enchanting. But... That should then take us to different parts of the island that will grant us quests along the way. So, 
that will finish off that little thing. And we will have to come back here after we complete Hazen's Folly. Because I think that's the only thing outside of this that we need to do. So. Yeah, almost a perfect circle. Which, I think the way that I did it with the boys is that we started, we literally teleported in. Because again, I forgot, or didn't forget, the guy didn't tell me that after you do Cold Harbor, you pop back up in your home area that you're supposed to start. Because then I went somewhere else, and then came back and realized, oh, I'm supposed to start here, not at the Way Shrine. But we started at the Way Shrine, we went up, and went in a complete circle, and then back to the middle. If you guys are doing it and you don't care about the story, start at the Bleak Rock Way Shrine. Do this quest I'm doing, and it'll take you to all parts of the island. And by the time you finish, you'll get back here, and it'll send you up to finish the rest. Perfect circle. Only visiting each place once. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at the moons. Really low texture in this, but, uh... I think... Yeah, I think Oblivion had my favorite skybox for nighttime. It had the most beautiful moons and sky uh, I would have to reserve for Shivering Isles. But uh, I did like the auroras in uh, Skyrim, but something about Oblivion's skybox was really nice. And it looks like uh, that's gone for me now. Shit. You're gonna take that? You No, you can have it, man. I'm not gonna steal it from you. I'm doing story stuff. There's some fish. There is a legendary fish here that you can only get in saltwater uh, spots, and it will take a little bit. I recommend at least 20 to 30 saltwater bait in order for you to get it. Uh, I don't know if there's ways to increase your luck. Uh, there might be ways to increase your fishing, but again, I'm brand new to this game, and I'm giving you guys my knowledge as it comes and as I discover it. So, I'm going to go ahead and collect this second Sky Shard for the island, but it should be my third overall. So, yep, I get a skill point. Uh, increase the damage of your chilled status by 202. The effect scales to your highest offensive stat. Okay. Uh, let's go with Bond with Nature, because... I feel like I'm going to lean into Animal Companions more. I just enjoy that a little more. So, let's see how that works out. We got a girl standing out here by the fire. This is Rolanda. Uh, the Captain Rana told us that her and her brother came up here to this little uh, spot. As you can tell, what we need to do is right over here, but we also got this cave. Come to prove your courage? So did my brother. Now he's gone. Okay. I'm in this inside this cave somewhere. The frozen man does all sorts of things to people who enter his domain. I can't leave Ayman in there. Since father died and mother left, he's all I have. Who is the frozen man? No one knows. He takes people who enter Orchis Hollow. Now he's taken my brother. Gotcha. I should stop sharpening this blade. You must go inside. I, I just can't. Okay. I'll go get him then. We knew a man, old Rory. He went in. When the soldiers dragged him out, he was missing all his bones. I'll give you until my fire burns out. Then I'm coming in after that you. That was a very intricate earring she had on. Tell me about your brother. He drinks too much, fights too much. And doesn't have the sense kind gave a hawker. He's the best cook on the island, though. Since father died fighting the Akaviri, we've only had each other. Akaviri invasion was recent? Interesting. How long have uh, you been at this cave? Or how long has About this cave been haunted? Years ago, there was a collapse somewhere inside. After that, people started disappearing. As long as I can remember, the cave's been forbidden. Captain Rana lectures us every time someone goes in to prove how brave they are. Alright, well, uh, let's go rescue our friend who's been turned into a skeever first. It 
not not even gonna talk to me? Okay. He's a fellow Argonian. Oh, and he uh, turned invisible, which means he's part chameleon. Hello. Water skin. I have been finding them rare to find. Finding just water for me to use for my alchemy potions. Actually been really hard to find just plain water. So going back through on uh, new characters actually helps out so I can get a lot of the uh, water in the starting area. Hello player, I'll help you out. There you go. So I think we need to head over here first and look at this ice wall. This one's frozen. Is it someone you know? Guess who I am, and I might let him go. Yeah, so that's the guy you're here for. And then there's a spirit around who is taunting us. But we gotta do stuff. You know, it's all really mundane and just Keep walking. trying to get you used to the trapped. game. And I am going to talk over him because it's useless drivel that Look up, greedy squirrel. doesn't really She's add anything. Shiny. Don't break your neck. This too, they animated this wrong right here. You can only get up right there. Anywhere else, it doesn't work. See? It bounces you off. You can only get up here if you hit this corner. No clue why. A battered chest. Astounding. Clues. You've accomplished the impossible. Leaping ah. small rocks. Thanks for minimizing something that even as a player we know is pitiful and not worth it, and yet you make fun of us for doing it because you forced us to. Okay. Makes sense. ESO definitely does not put its, uh, yeah, it definitely does not put its best foot forward. So if I remember reading this correctly, because I don't want to go through all these pages here, I think it's the guy who we, who is talking, slowly losing his mind and seeing his family and friends die around him in this cave, I think at the end it's something about a greedy squirrel, which... I think it's like some love interest thing. I don't know. I would read it, but I don't do well without someone helping me read, like Mooney or something, so. Dead body, bedroll. You'll make a lovely squirrel. Yeah. So inquisitive. How rude! Digging through my things. What manners? Whatever. You run around this cave and collect dumb shit, and then you're finally given a chance to move on. This this quest is very uh, pathetic and pitiful, adds nothing, introduces no one. What it, have it's you just thought, busy work. Clever squirrel. Do you have a guess? Digging away, puffy little cheeks. What have you found? You're a spy for the Almary Dominion. Bored. A spy, am I? But why? Oh my, you're a smart one. Whatever will I do with you? Guess who you are and let the guy go. That's no fun. Join me inside. We'll play a game of shells. Win, and you get Iman. Lose, and you'll be my newest squirrel. Alright. So, you enter into this room, and you do what Bethesda will call a uh, shell game puzzle. Yes, wrong. And at a quick glance, uh, I wish the footage worked uh, because the footage did get corrupted of the ones of me playing through this with Donut and the other boys. The moment I stepped in, it, it's immediately this guy. It's always him, no matter what you do, because look, they're all dancing and he's just standing here. It's obviously the one who's out. It is something I figured out within seconds. They figured it out in seconds. No one is fooled by this. It's just busy work, as I said. Don't talk to me. I'm a shrub. Let him go. Your soul is missing. Want mine? It's black and gooey. It's pointless dialogue. I won your game. Let him go. No. 
We're having old friends for supper. Drink some roots. Stay with us. You'll be safe here. More useless dialogue. Safe from what? The stones. The shiny ones. They're pretty until you turn your back, and then, whoosh, skulls implode, bones shatter. Yeah, he was killed by an icicle. Cool. Uh, cave in. This is my safest place. My friends are here. Don't take them. Okay. I'm asking for the guy, though. Want, want, want. Greedy squirrels. We wanted to leave here, but then... Shiny stones. I ate them after. They were cold. They hurt my teeth. Okay. So, you ate icicles. Anyways, the guy said... it. The, the quest is now I gotta convince him, so I have three choices. Eamon will die if you don't release him. What about this rune? Don't you want it back? If you don't let him go, I'm going to have to hurt you. You have to go through all three of these. People don't die. They change shape. Like Arloway. She's a candlestick. She's bright as the stars. And Tarak? He's never been happier. Oh, it gives me headaches, and it tastes like sawdust. Go on, you eat it. The shiny stones did that. The roots, the water, Oriel's three toes. I tried to save him, but his head wouldn't stop leaking. Now he's a milk jug. Yep, no matter what you pick, you gotta go through all three in order for you to get the final answer that pops up. The fourth one, if our way's the candle and Oriel's the milk jug, that makes you the bear trap. And there was no bear trap in that room. I I don't get this. So? And nobody wants to get caught in the bear trap, not even squirrels. I, I don't get this. That's the first thing you've said that makes any sense. Fine. Take Iman. Just leave my friends alone. And don't blame me if the shiny stones get you. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. That made no sense. There's... Whatever. All players who I've talked to about this to also are like, they have no clue what this is. It makes no sense. So, pointless, annoying quest for no reason. What happened? Did... Did you see those Covenant soldiers? What Covenant soldiers? I saw a group of them exploring the cave. They laughed at me, hanging in the ice. Then, the frozen man got them. Alright, let's get out of here. Don't I don't remember twice. seeing any bodies for the soldiers. Uh... No, well, there's skeletons. They can't be the soldiers. There's no scraps of armor. But, whatever. I didn't see any soldiers. But he did, so... I guess that ties him into the story. Rolly, you came to save me. She did not come to save you, I Lord did. You're lucky I came at all. Where did you find him? Uh, in the cave where you told me to find him. Kind gift. We'll head back to the village right now. Rana's going to flay his full hide. I can't properly repay you, but please, take this. It... Okay, she gives you a going. hammer, which is decent for the level, I guess. But, okay, so that was that pointless quest, and the rest of the quests actually are much, much better. Well, in terms of story and what you're doing, feels practically better. child-sized, like an evil baby man. Evil baby man, whatever. These places of interest, or whatever they're called. What did what what does this game call them? Discover all striking locations. That's what it was. So, fisherman's journal. Uh, let's talk about solitude or guard Khajiit. Okay. Oh, Skeever, right here. One of these uh, people. Who are you? Thank you. Fatha. Nope, can't talk to you either. Got now we're gonna deal with some uh, frostbite spiders. Oi. I forget that they can spit even in the Skyrim game too. Right. This class is definitely based off of you using it in Morrowind, as most of the creatures that it summons are all Vardenfell-based. So, 
I, I'm fairly certain it expects you to use a Dark Elf or equivalent Ebonheart Pact race that will be on Vardenfell when you are doing the story there and use this uh, class to do it, but I guess we'll see how that all plays out. So I'm really liking the Sorcerer so far. It's I, I just like Wizards, I guess. I guess that's my uh, Guilty Pleasure class. Or a Natu. Pray, Sithis. A traveler. Please, the poison's chill is getting to me. I don't know if I'm going to make it. What happened? I came out here with three of my fighter's guild comrades. We heard rumors of dangerous creatures in the cave. Then we found spiders. Argonians are resistant to poison. <laughs> That's the only reason I got away. Alright, so, two things before we continue. One, uh, Fighter's Guild, and she's praising Sithis, the patron of the Dark Brotherhood. So, a little confused about that. Um, maybe because they're leaning into the fact that Argonians like to raise shadow scales, but that's not their whole culture. They're not all assassins, but okay. Uh, secondly, this is part of the group of the Fighters Guild that Rana's notes told us about, or someone's notes. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so now we get to connect that line. Save my crew. If I know spiders, my comrades are already in cocoons. Find Tethys, Nair, and Hansen Shadow. Set them free. Okay. I'll, do what I, I'll see what we I can do. We should be able to get them out before they're a meal for spiders. We shouldn't have come here. I should have listened to the Guildmaster. What do you mean? We're used to taking contracts as they come. We pick our own jobs. The Guildmaster, though. She wanted us to go hunt Daedra. If only we had followed orders. Well, anyways, so I think that lady sees all colors is the Fighters Guild leader or guild master in Stonefells. So we will meet her probably much later if we really want to connect all these storylines together as quick as possible. Okay, so we got three caves that we need to explore and dig the people out of. A look, a dragonthorn plant for whatever I'm gonna need to use. Oh. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice. Impaling shards. Again, I don't use impaling shards, but it keeps leveling up. You guys chill. A cocoon! This is essentially the same quest that we are doing for uh, the lady with the friends who have been turned into skeevers. We're going to three different locations, collecting and unlocking them to return them back to uh, their friend who gave us the quest, so... Already on the tutorial island are we given the same quest multiple times. In the middle of the quest. We're literally doing the same quest in the middle of it, so. Just to show the quality of how ESO came online the first time. Looks like someone's a Templar. And we will be able to compare to the rest of the game how the uh, story evolves or the quality of the writing and storytelling continues because uh, so far the quality is pretty lackluster. The stories are okay. Uh, it's definitely better than most beginning areas for most MMOs, so I'm going to give it that, that it does feel a little better than I uh, originally wanted to give it credit for, especially for the fact that I am a uh, player of Elder Scrolls from years and years ago, back when Morrowind dropped, and my lore has been slowly changing throughout the uh, rest of of the uh, series and Elder Scrolls Online was just another one of those stepping stones along the way that was just going to completely change the way 
that I uh, saw or played or saw or played the series because the lore would change again. And so far, the lore hasn't changed in any way that would be too detrimental or make me upset at how they did it. Um, there's a few things that caught me off guard, but never anything that was so much so that I just couldn't handle it. Alright, I'm watching a whole bunch of people level up here. Excuse me. A whole bunch of players just came online. My comrades have returned. I erect the spine of gratitude. You are a hero today. Glad I can help. May your scales stay moist. By the way, we're not heading back to the village. We have our own boat, and we're getting off this cursed rock. If you're ever in Davin's watch, you should consider joining the guild. I'd put in a good word for you. Sure, I will have to later. Complete quest. Alright, so now that completes top half. We are now going to have to go down here and investigate Hawson's Folly. About halfway through at this point, so hopefully the video isn't too goddamn long, but whatever. Ed, work your magic. The sun shines every day in hell. 